Hi, this is Frank from Walking for Health and Fitness, and this is a new feature on my site called Ask Walking Man Frank. I take uh, email questions uh, from readers of the site and uh, viewers of YouTube, and I'll answer them. The first question comes from Mary C, and she writes, Thanks for the motivation. What do I do about legs that feel like slugs? Breath seems fine, heart and lungs, but legs are terrible. I live full time in an RV and sit way too much. I am committed to walking hopefully 30 minutes in the AM and again in the PM, but it hurts to walk. Hugs for what you do, end quote. So Mary, thank you for the question. It seems like you're just starting out walking. And um, what it is right now is that your leg strength and conditioning, it needs to catch up to your motivation. Whenever we start a fitness routine, uh, whether it's walking, uh, running, lifting weights, whatever muscles we start to use more often, they're going to be sore because they're being used in a way that they haven't been previously. Okay, so now you're sitting all day and now you're asking them to carry you for a half hour in the morning and a half hour in the evening. You'll get there eventually, just takes a little bit of time. So just give them time to get stronger. Okay, slow and steady wins the race. And I believe that that's the great thing about walking. You can take, you can take it slowly at your own pace. With that said, if you think your pain is unusual, it's going on too long, see a physician right away just to get cleared that there's nothing wrong with your legs. Okay, so Mary, with that said, let me get you started here. Before you start walking, before your walk starts, whether it's in the morning or the evening, do not stretch. The first thing I want you to do is to do a gentle warm up. Stretching cold tight muscles is a recipe for disaster, okay? So you've been sitting all day, you're tight, gentle warm up and it's this. Start with some body weight squats. You're just gonna drop down and push up through your heels, come up, I'll leave the picture right there. The next thing you wanna do is high knees, lifting your legs up one at a time, slowly, do a few repetitions of each, a few squats, a few of the high knees. The calf raises, just lifting yourself up, your heels off the ground, come back down, the picture's there. Ankle circles, slowly turning your ankles in two directions, okay, back and forth, slowly. Leg swings, just slowly swing that legs to loosen up your lower body and your hips. And pelvic loops, uh, pretend that you're doing a hula hoop. Just go around, get the hips loose. Okay, then, well, first off, that'll help you loosen up your joints and muscles, okay? Go out for your walk. Start off slowly at first, enjoy the walk, okay? Initially, yeah, your legs might feel tired, they might feel tight. Over time, this will get easier to do. This, the warm-up will be second nature. When you finish your walk, do the same movements as a cool down. Basically, you wanna cool your muscles down. After that, you'll start stretching. So when you stretch, make sure that your movements, your stretching movements are slow, gentle, emphasizing a very light movement. Okay, hold each stretch for 20 to 30 seconds. I'll put the stretches up over here. So what you will do is you'll do a calf stretch. You'll stretch your hamstring, hold on to something for a support. You'll stretch your quads, okay, pull your, back, your leg back slowly Shift your knee back just a little bit, a lower back stretch. Okay, basically, I'll do it here. Put your hands on your small of your back and lean back. A nice little stretch. Easy though. Nothing strained, nothing hurts. And then your hip flexor, you're down on one knee and just gently leaning back while you're on that knee and you'll feel the front, um, the front of your quads start to loosen up. Hold that for 20 to 30 seconds. That's the one, the sitting really affects the hip flexor so much, okay? Now, to make your sluggish legs feel good, okay, now here's the fun part of this. Number one, elevate your legs. Okay, when you elevate your legs, ideally at or above your heart level. It helps keep the blood from pooling in your lower legs and improves blood flow to the rest of your body. Second thing that you can do, soak your legs in cool or ideally cold water. Now, since you're RV, if you find a campsite near a stream, go sit in the stream with your legs, it'll feel wonderful. Third thing you can do, soak in a warm bath. Okay, so where the cold reduces inflammation, the warmth will increase blood flow and warm bath feels great on every part of your body. Um, you could also use a roller or a foam roller and foam rollers are, okay, let me get this right. Foam rolling is a self-myofascial release technique. 
And basically it helps your muscles uh, relieve tightness, soreness, and inflammation and increases your range of motion. Okay, I'm reading that right off the sheet over here. But basically by rolling the muscles and that uh, the fascia that is around your muscles, um, it breaks up any adhesions and it loosens it up. I'm rubbing my hands here. It loosens it up and um, initially that, that hurts a little bit actually if you do it really hard. Start easy like everything else and you'll find it, uh, that you'll loosen up. Well, continue your walking success. Keep me posted on, on how you're doing. You can always email me, okay? And for more information on how to begin a walking program, check out the links below. I have my walking books on there and my walking website, Walking for Health and Fitness. You can also contact me at frank at walkingforhealthandfitness.com with any questions you have. Please subscribe to this channel. This is Walking Man Frank. Walk on.